Amo Lear's life changed in 1928 when he saved two little otter cubs who had lost their mother. Lear's raised the cubs and many other otters. Reader's Digest reported he trained about 200 otters in his life. He studied them and found out that they were super smart. He constructed an otter playground in his backyard, took them for leashless walks in the woods, and used them as duck hunting retrievers. He and his otters were inseparable. At the time, otters lived less than a year in captivity, but Lear studied them and made breakthroughs in their nutrition. Soon he became one of the world's leading otter experts, making it possible for zoos to keep the animals for the first time. Lears was passionate about educating the public. He invited school children to his otter sanctuary in Homer, Minnesota, and the University of Minnesota invited him to travel with his otters to schools around the country. He wrote books and even consulted for Disney. Lears passed in 1975 at age 85. Unfortunately, his otter sanctuary was not maintained after his death, but he did leave a legacy as a key figure in restoring the United States otter population.